Who Publishing is proud to present the fifth anniversary edition of Who's Who in Black Charlotte. The professional accomplishments of the living legends have enabled them to provide examples of personal excellence that have benefited others and enriched our community in a variety of ways. The list of achievements of Bishop George Edward Battle Jr. is long. The Rock Mount, North Carolina native has amassed a record of academic success that includes a Master of Divinity degree from Hood Theological Seminary in Salisbury, North Carolina, and a Doctor of Ministry from Howard University in Washington. Franklin McCain is a civil rights icon one of four young men who quietly sat at the lunch counter at the F.W. Woolworth in downtown Greensboro, North Carolina on February 1st, 1960, and were refused service because of their race. To be related to a pioneer and inspiration in the movement that have fought for equality for African Americans is an honor. But as McCain has reminded his three sons, life also brings responsibilities. When Scarborough served on the Charlotte City Council, the first African-American woman to win an at-large seat, she would hear from constituents with questions about city services, bus stops, everything. When I say I will follow up, I will follow through. She said, I am serious. Our interesting personalities are all too often defined by what they do rather than who they are. What makes them more interesting has more to do with who they are than what they have accomplished. Lelicia Bailey is the Executive Vice President and Chief People Office for Belk Incorporated. She sees her role as being instrumental in shaping and developing a culture that helps Belk be the best of the best, as well as a destination place for people to grow and to achieve their career aspirations. As Chief People Officer, she oversees the enterprise-wide people strategy with a focus on culture, change leadership, compensation, succession, talent management, engagement, and attracting, engaging, and retaining top talent. Born and raised in the heart of Detroit with his mother and two brothers, Reginald Bean says he grew up in a world of chaos, but always had people along the way to guide him and more importantly, an internal feeling of right and wrong. Tamela Bullard is one of those lucky people who gets to do the work that she loves. Bullard has the opportunity to help employees develop their careers while at the same time help the organization achieve its mission. But her luck certainly isn't by happenstance. She personifies the saying that luck is where opportunity meets preparation. As the son of a teacher and probation officer in Greensboro, North Carolina, A. Fulton Meacham's parents instilled in him the concept that the content of one's character was most important. Through his experiences in sports, Boy Scouts, and other childhood activities, he made friends with kids from all walks of life. Jerome Miller's journey began in Savannah, Georgia, with his parents, Mary and Eddie Simmons, in a neighborhood he says would now be called The Hood. Miller received plenty of love and knowledge from them. Miller said he learned quite a bit from his mom and dad beyond what parents normally teach. He also learned a lot from one of his teachers who took special interest in him. Terrell and Wayne Riley can make you laugh, boost your heart rate, or bring you to the brink of tears in just minutes, creating videos for NASCAR productions. Between the two of them, they've won five Emmys, including one for an episode of Inside the Headsets that they won in 2012. While the two brothers spend most of their time behind the scenes telling other stories, they have their own unique story as brothers who have built their careers and reputations being the yin to the other's yang. As a HR business partner at Snyder's Lance Incorporated, Rosita Stellers knows most of the people in the plant by name. She said the best advice she's ever been given is to slow down and really establish meaningful relationships, as she explains the importance of interacting with her staff. Stellers manages a team of five that oversees the human resources needs of the plant and sales teams in Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. She works with the company's leadership to bring talented individuals into the organization and nurture growth in employees. 
Joshua Suds, co-owner and manager of Delta's Restaurant, a party planner from way back when. Suds is the quintessential people person who loves to see people happy and enjoying themselves, which is a clue to why he is the successful co-owner of two restaurants. He's been doing parties since the tender age of 11 years old and describes himself as a party promoter from early on. If he made $100 at the end of the night, he knew he was doing something. He parlayed that love of entertaining into co-owning the Delta's restaurants in New Jersey and in Charlotte. As Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer at Carolina Healthcare System, Dr. James Taylor is responsible to develop, advance, and guide an organization-wide diversity strategy that creates an inclusive environment and delivers diverse services to key constituents and the broader community in North and South Carolina. Dr. Taylor said, improving the health and health status of the communities we serve is our noble charge at Carolina's healthcare system. Darren Tolliver has done something that few people do anymore. He has worked at the same company for over 10 years. After graduating from college in 2003, he began his career as a teller at Fifth Third Bank. He currently manages 11 financial centers as vice president and retail regional manager, where he is responsible for overseeing everything from human resources to branch operations and sales of financial products and services at Fifth Third Bank. Bill Williams knows a few things about creating trust. The key to building relationships is that there are no gimmicks and no tricks. It's really about being transparent and authentic, he explains. As the Vice President of Sales and Delivery Services for Piedmont Natural Gas, Williams is responsible for all the company's sales efforts, including residential, commercial, industrial, power generation, and municipal contracts. You can read more about these individuals in the 5th Anniversary Edition of Who's Who in Black Charlotte.